Getting more views on YouTube is gonna take you a lot more than just having a really nice fancy camera, some RGB lighting, and being picture perfect all the time. Sure, these things are all a part of what gets views on YouTube, but there's still a huge piece of the puzzle that's missing that other YouTube growth channels just forget to share. But in this video, I'm spilling the tea on what you should do right now if you wanna get more views on YouTube instantly. All right, navigators, in this video, I am sharing the three steps you need to take to get more views on your next video. And we're starting with step number one, finding evergreen content for your niche. Now, when I started my YouTube channel, I was doing what most new vloggers do. I pulled out my camera with no rhyme or reason and I started filming videos about my life as a mom. And as you would expect, I got no views. And it took some digging to see that no one really cared about who I was and they didn't really care to watch my videos because I wasn't sharing any value. I was basically here saying, look at me, and they were like, why? But once I started digging into what evergreen content was in my niche, I started getting views that look like this. And after a while of creating these evergreen content, I was able to produce day in the life vlogs and people actually started to watch them because I established my authority with evergreen content in my niche. And as a bonus, I actually received daily views on this evergreen content that I made over two years ago. And these videos help maintain 100,000 views a month on my channel, even on months I don't upload any new videos. So if you don't know, evergreen content are videos or content that is made on a specific topic that never loses interest or goes out of style. So it's the complete 180 of what a trend is. Now you're probably wondering, how do I know if I'm making evergreen content videos? And it's really simple. Ask yourself, does my video fall under one of these evergreen content categories? And those are things such as who, what, when, where, why. So informative topics, how to's, frequently asked questions. You even have tips, hacks, tutorials, and my favorite, guides and idea lists kind of like my 50 trending video ideas for lifestyle vloggers, which I'll be doing another one really soon, so make sure to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss that video coming out next. Okay, so now that you know what evergreen content is, where can you find evergreen content? Well, it's super easy. All you need to do is use tools such as TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer and make sure when you're searching keywords to target that it actually has a number of monthly searches and that the trend graph shows a trend that looks like this and not something that spikes and dips or is just kind of trending downwards. Usually when you see things like that, it's not really evergreen content and it's more trending content, which means you'll probably get views right now, but in a week, a month, or even a year, that video is gonna be dead and it's not gonna help you maintain the views on your channel. All right, so once you have your evergreen content picked out, you wanna make sure you're applying SEO before you even record your videos. This means drafting a title that is eye-catching without being clickbait, such as do this if you have less than 100 views a video, or a title like one of my viral videos on my motherhood channel that says how to increase milk supply instantly. These titles that I use balance SEO and keywords placed perfectly with emotional triggers, which is the winning formula to gaining clicks on YouTube. And as we know, if you don't get the clicks, you don't get the views. Now, you also wanna make sure that your thumbnail stands out against the competition. Doing this really helps analyze what's already working in search, kind of seeing what the competition is doing, and then seeing how you can apply better techniques better colors, and of course, better emotional triggers that'll allow people to click on your video versus that other video that's in search. Now, as a reminder, standing out is always gonna be more important than a branded look on your channel. This is not Instagram, not everything has to look cohesive. You literally wanna make sure that your thumbnail is going to catch more people's eyes, and the more you do this, the higher you're gonna notice that your CTR is. And if you don't know, CTR stands for click-through ratio. And this means the amount of people who actually saw your thumbnail or your video versus the amount of people that actually click. And if you're making your thumbnails after you're making your videos, you most likely have a CTR that looks like this, which means nobody's clicking on your video and you're not gonna get any views. All right, so now that you have your evergreen content and you've produced your SEO before you've even pressed record, the next step is just to go record your video and pray that someone's actually going to click on it. I'm kidding, don't do that. Recording is actually one of the last steps that I do obviously besides editing. Editing's really the last step that I do. But before I even record my videos, I make sure to script my videos out. And this is because it is so important that I make sure that I add in all the little details of value that I want that's gonna keep you on my video longer. But I don't just worry about the audio aspect. You also wanna think visually, how is my video going to look? This is really gonna help you speed up your editing process 
and it's going to allow you to place things such as pattern interrupts, sound effects, or even B-roll that really complements, not complicates your video. And the more you do this, the more you'll have your viewers stay on your video a lot longer, which increases your audience retention rate. And as we know, YouTube has moved away from view-focused algorithm. Back in the day, it used to be that clicks win. So as long as a person clicked, it counted as a view, and the person with the most views gets the most traction on their videos. But that wasn't helping YouTube to reach its goal of delivering quality content to its viewers. So YouTube had to change its algorithm and really focuses on audience retention. When someone clicks on this video, are they staying all the way through or are they leaving within the first 10 seconds? And you want a person to stay all the way through. And the more people that do that, the more it sends a positive signal to the YouTube algorithm to let them know that your video is quality so that they can recommend your video in more places such as the browse feature, the up next, or even in suggested. And as long as those viewers keep clicking on your video and watching all the way through, YouTube's gonna keep suggesting your video to more new viewers, which means more views for you, which is how you increase your views instantly. And what's even better than having them watch your video to the very end is having them click on a video watch it to the very end, and then click on another one of your videos. This really supercharges the positive signals that get sent to the YouTube algorithm. So the algorithm says, hey, this person's video not only kept them all the way through, but it was able to increase the entire watch session and people are watching more and more videos. So now I'm not only going to recommend this video, but I'm also gonna recommend this video because we see that these two are keeping people on the platform. And that's what YouTube really wants is get people to the platform and keep them there. And I know you're probably like, how do I get them to watch two videos when I'm struggling with them watching one? And it's actually a lot easier than you think. All you need to do is verbally communicate to your audience who's watching your video which related or relevant video you have on your channel already that you know they're going to click on and like. And it's usually something that's really similar to the video they're watching. And to communicate this, all you need to do is say something like this at the very end of your video. And if you're confused on how to increase your audience retention, I go into more details in this video right here. I'll see you over there.